Hello, everybody. Hello, computer science professors and staff. My name is Marcos Hernandez. Hi, I'm Sanjeev. And as a team, we decided to work on the project of Affordable Care Act uh, based on 1094C and 1095C forms processing system. Affordable Care Act is a healthcare reform signed by President Obama back in 2010. And it was formerly known as the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. And we just generally call it as Obamacare and it provides a list of health policies and health insurance coverage for millions of uninsured Americans. Uh, so for example, uh, uh, an employer has more than 50 employees, so he has to, 50 full-time employees, he has to provide health insurance for all those full-time employees. And at the end of the fiscal year, he has to, uh, for tax, tax purposes, he has to fill out 1094C and 1094, 1095C forms. And it's it's usually an XML-based report, which is submitted to the IRS. And it is submitted electronically. And it's, it is a main XML file and a manifest file. And the uh, process is known as Affordable Care Act Information Returns. So the vision of our uh, project was to uh, firstly, develop a database using uh, SQL Server Management S Studio, and we create uh, with the help of Professor Bailey, who is our mentor for this project. Uh, we created uh, our script file, which creates a database that can maintain 1095 to 1094C and 1095C uh, databases uh, data of all the employees uh, of that specific organization, which is an employer, and and as the data is all stored, uh, we, the employer and the IRS can access it through the required PDF forms. And, and the publication and the is of XML files to support the electronic submission of 1094C and 1095C information. And Marcos uh, has created a PHP file that actually uh, checks the manifest of the XML file. And we just wanted to like create a easy processing system to make sure that the employers can easily send the uh, data and the tax forms to the IRS. And our processing system is completely automated. And we have also we we, we have also planning on creating a command line application that actually runs uh, and pulls out the data from the ex, uh, from the SQL server, and then checks with the uh, XML manifest and and make sure that the mechanism is confirming and adhering to the required XML schema that the IRS has provided. And we just want to make sure everything goes smoothly to the IRS. All right, so our accomplishments, uh, our team was able to develop a processing system that manages both the PDF file and XML file. and it, the publication it goes uh, it was made to support the uh, Affordable Care Act. As mentioned before, we created a PHP that um, it reads the entire uh, database based from the XML from 1094 and 1095 form, um, and it was it showed uh, good results. It showed the entire information um, entered in the data, and also we created an SQL file that creates tables and, and it enters data um, from each employer. Um, it was made easy. It was made for um, uh, it was user friendly, and it runs well in the SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, once you run the entire file, and which we will show in our demo, um, it will run through the entire process, and uh, it, it will be it will be a success. We also completed our website, so you can check our report, presentation, and GitHub. Um, so now we're going to share our problem, the problems we encountered and how we overcame them. So at first, uh, we originally started as a team of four people. Uh, now we are only two. <laughs> it was quite unexpected. And when that happened, we didn't know what to do. So thanks to our director, uh, Vanderl Professor Vanderlinden, and our advisor, Patrick Bailey, uh, we were able to adjust some things. We were able to um, find solutions to, for our project to work and, and have good results. Um, yeah, they were quite pretty helpful. Um, then our other problem is that programming languages were not working. We um, we actually had problems with uh, Python, but thankfully we were able to fix our problem with Python that it wasn't reading. But then uh, 
we had to adjust, uh, we had to configure some stuff, and then it was uh, we were able to run Python. Um, and because uh, Python had gave us a problems, we decided to use PHP, and it reads the XML files, and that actually gave us better results. Um, yeah, so the problems we encountered uh, too uh, is a command line application. It's still in development. Uh, we're still trying to figure out some stuff out. We're still trying to uh, trying to make it work. Um, it's still in development, like I said. And also another problem is that uh, the extracting data from the forms uh, in Python it was difficult to extract data, but thankfully in PHP uh, we were able to extract all the data from the 1094C and 1095C. So for our design norms, uh, based on uh, our, our class CS384, um, we decided that one of the norms is justice form. Uh, this design uh, has to respect the rights of all the employers, uh, the ones that enter the information all in the, in the data in 1094 and 1095C forms. Uh, every information given by the employers uh, is private. No, no one else can access that. And it has intellectual property. Um, our other norm is to worship. Um, this one plays a part in the project because we are sharing information from the XML uh, ACA forms, and also det it determines the eligibility of the, em the of the employee uh, for the premium tax credit. Um, our other norm is trust. Um, the base of the XML form is user friendly, and we are looking for transparency. That's why users can clearly understand how it's how it works, how we how they can use it, and that they feel secure that um, no one else can access it. Only they can. And our last norm is caring, uh, which shows care to employers by improving healthcare quality. Okay, so we uh, we're gonna do the demo, and first I'm gonna start it with the R script file, and I'm gonna show you the database. So here is a database which is all oh, we created an R script file, which is available on our uh, GitHub, and I'm just gonna copy this. Copy and paste. I'm just going to execute the file. Let's yeah, complete it. In our uh, R script, the database is called raw test, and we have five tables here. And for example, if we open the first table, is it 1095 covered? And we can look at the design, and you can see we have made a new column for all the SSN, the name, full name, date of birth, and we created a bit for the month to make sure that uh, it's yes or no, zero or one. We have 1095 head, it's the same thing. And I can actually like try to show you the 1095, sorry, 1095, 1094C. This is the regular form, and we actually use the XML schema elements of the that were provided by the IRS to actually make the database and the XML manifest and the schema. And we have the sample header 1095, 1095, 1094, and 1095 uh, processing system schemas over here. These are the manifest files which are available on GitHub and the header do. And Marcos is going to show you guys the, the PHP file. OK, so for PHP to work, uh, we actually had to download uh, this application. I'm quite not sure how to pronounce this. Um, so we had to download this control panel. And we have to use this module right here, which also I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but um, all right, so what basically, what basically this does is that by running it, it will um, help us to run PHP in the web server. So if we open uh, PHP, it will show the results that we added for the code, the data from the forms. So I'm going to show you the code. Um, this is a PHP file. Here is where it will read the 1094C and 1095. Um, I will pull the, the file, and here is where it pulls all the data that is in the form. And so we can see the business, the name of the person, the contact info, um, information, monthly uh, info, and taxes, um, 
And um, once that works, so we're running the control panel and activating the module. This is what happens. It shows the information given. So over here, we can see the upstream detail, a text here, the business name, the employee name, contact. There's more information right here. Uh, information groups, uh, monthly info group. We see the monthly coverage, employee required, the safe harbor. It shows the, it shows the 1094C and 1095C uh, forms. So that was our demo. And now we're going to move to the summary of the research. So as the Congress passed the Affordable Care Act back in 2010, a lot of money had, it, it costed a lot of employers a lot of money to have this processing system. And all these people had to fill out these extra forms on top of what millions of forms that they already have to fill out to when they're filling out their taxes at the end of the year. So uh, a lot of companies had to make new processing systems and these are kind of robust and expensive because IRS has made a bunch of rules and for example me and Marco had to go through like hundreds of pages of uh, for IRS documents to look at the rules and stuff so one of, one of the main goals of the affordable care Act is to improve the healthcare quality through the use of technology and the, the proposed technology varies from electronic health records to computer modeling and use of track healthcare spending and the use of this technology and data to improve the health of the patients and quality of care is called health informatics. And having to create all this extra database uh, and processing systems has costed the IT industry uh, millions of dollars, possibly billions. And, and one of our research questions was how many hours uh, people like us had to create to uh, like create this processing system, how many hours that we had to spend on making these uh, on making these processing systems for all these employers? So there were a lot of secondary effects of affordable care out and the IT industries and the employers. So future work uh, as Marcos is graduating this year, and I'll be back at Calvin next fall too. So right now we uh, at least I will be working on the project, and maybe anyone. St new students who are seniors next year can take up this project too. One of the main important things that they can do is improve the manifest file to execute cor uh, correctly and like load both the, uh, the ACA 1094C and 1095C. And I'm planning on continuing this project for the next year. And, and we just want to thank uh, Professor Bailey for giving us the guidance and and I hope he's going to help us in the future regarding the implementation and continuation of this project. And I want to thank the Computer Science de Department of Calvin University, uh, uh, Professor Anna Linden, Professor Bailey, and uh, Alfred and Youngin, who worked on this project with us past semester, fall 2020. So it has been a tough time, but and especially me and Marcos being online, it was hard doing this project, but I think we both are happy with the result that we have. And we just want to thank everyone for supporting us. Thank you.